Our rents in Queens have gone up 20% annually, yet our incomes have stayed the same. And this is all without Amazon being here. So what does it mean for an organization, for a company like Amazon to come here that has a history of anti-immigrant policies by working with ICE, that has a history of abusing workers in their workplace and taking advantage of small businesses? Jeff Bezos, the wealthiest man on the planet, was voted one of the two worst employers in the world. At the first city council hearing, you know, you heard you heard workers talk about how they are prioritizing robots instead of the people. How is the, how are you letting that come into New York City? Our, our members and our people that are living in public housing need to be invested into first before we do anything. Raise your hands if you're from an immigrant family. <laughs> this New York City is an immigrant-run city. Uh, Amazon collaborates with ICE to surveil immigrants, to target immigrants, and to support the detention and deportation machine. Amazon is a company that mistreats its workers. Amazon doesn't pay a living wage. Amazon doesn't provide good benefits. Amazon works employees into the ground. And we've heard all those stories from around the country. Amazon treats the robots in this warehouse better than it treats its workers. And when workers try to unionize, Amazon fights back. Is targeting immigrant communities progressive values? No! no. Is giving Jeff Bezos $3 billion of hard-earned taxpayer money progressive values? No! This was a bad deal when the mayor and the governor secretly agreed to it. It's a bad deal today. It'll always be a bad deal for New York City and Queens.